Welcome to Engineering Mechanics, Dynamics of the Particle, Example Problem for Connected Bodies. Recap the Newton's Law of Motion. It relates the force causing the change in the motion with the resulting acceleration and it can be stated as follows. If the resultant force acting on a particle is not zero, the particle will have acceleration proportional to the magnitude of the resultant and in the direction of this resultant force. Mathematically, Newton's second law of motion can be stated as force equal to mass into acceleration. D. Alembert's principle states that the system of external force acting on a body in motion is in dynamic equilibrium with the inertia force of the body. Mathematically, we can state it as summation of all the force x direction minus mass into acceleration x direction equal to zero. Similarly, summation of all forces in y direction minus mass into acceleration y equal to zero in the case of x and y direction the ma is imaginary force or inertia force or reverse force it is it, the inertia force always applied in opposite direction example problem two block of weight 150 newton and 50 newton are connected by the string and passing over frictional less pulley as shown the figure. Determine the acceleration of the block and B the tension in the string. First we have to analyze the motion analysis of the block. The weight of the block is 150 Newton and 50 Newton. Here the acceleration of these two block will not be equal because the 150 block is supported by a single string. But 150 block is supported by the two string, the string on either side. Hence the acceleration of the block 50 Newton is twice the acceleration of the block 150 Newton. Let A equal to acceleration of the block 50 Newton weight. T is tension in the string. Based on the motion analysis, 150 Newton block is moving downward direction, 50 block is moving upward direction. The direction is indicated as shown the figure. First consider the 50 Newton block moving upward, upwards, the forces acting on the, on the block along the, with the inertia force shown, shown in the figure. Apply the D. Albert's principle. Summation of F of Y equal to 0. The, uh, apply the upper direction is positive. We consider from the free body diagram T minus 50 minus mass into acceleration equal to 0. Substitute this mass value from that block 50 Newton block, we form a one equation T minus 5.097 into acceleration equal to 50 equation number 1. The next step is consider a 150 Newton block moving downwards, the forces acting on the block along with inertia force. Based on this free body diagram, apply the equilibrium, dynamic equilibrium, 2t minus 150 plus mass into acceleration divided by 2 equal to 0 based on this motion analysis of the block. From that 150 Newton block, we form a governing equation of equation number 2, 2t plus 7.845 into acceleration equal to 150. Solving the equation 1 and 2, we get a 
acceleration and tension the above the two equation we have to rewrite in a matrix form using your calculator we can obtain the value acceleration is 2.8 meter per second square and t equal to 64.2 newton the result is of the acceleration of 50 newton block a equal to 2.8 meter per second square acceleration of 150 newton block a divided by 2 2.8 divided by 2 equal to 1.4 meter per second square tension in the string t equal to 64.2 newton the same problem we are applying the impulse moment equation the imp this problem we can solve by another method impulse moment equation method apply the impulse moment equation initial moment minus force into time equal to final moment substitute this value considering a 150 block velocity final velocity is 2v initial velocity is 0 time is 4 second so substitute this value to may t minus 50 into time 50 minus 9.81 to v minus 0 tension in the direction of the motion hence it's positive so from that we formulate one equation t minus 50 equal to 2.548 v equation number 1 consider the another block apply the impulse moment equation from that the tension is opposite direction motion, hence it is negative. So, formulate the another second governing equation, 150 minus 2t into 4 equal to 150 divided by 9.81 v minus 0. Solving this above the two equation, we can get the velocity is 5.6 meter per second. Then, velocity of 50 newton block is 2 into v. So, 11.2 meter per second, tension is 64.2 Newton. The another example problem, based on work energy method, we can solve the two block A and B weight of 120 Newton and 100 Newton are hanged to the end of a rope, which passing over ideal pulley as shown in the figure. The velocity of the system is increased from 1 meter per second to 2 meter per second. How much the distance this block will move? Also calculate the tension in the string. Use work energy method. Solution. 120 block will move downwards based on this weight 100 newton will move upward apply the work energy equation work done of the system is 120 s that displacement minus 100 into s change in the kinetic energy of the system is weight of the block 1 and 2 divided by 2g then v square minus u square v is indicate the final velocity u is initial velocity apply the energy equation substitute this all the value we can um, the initial velocity is given in the problem is 1 meter per second final velocity is 2 meter per second the work energy method uh, formula is double uh, then weight into s equal to Weight of the W1 divided by W2 divided by 2G. Substitute this value. We can form find out the distance. That is 20S equal to 11.21 4 minus 1. From this we can obtain the distance S equal to 1.681 meter. Tension in the string. Apply work energy equation on 120 Newton block. Work done is 120 minus T into S based on this free body diagram of 120 Newton black. 
चेंज इन कैनेटिक एनर्जी इक्वेशन इज वन ट्वेंटी माइनस टी इंटू एस ईक्वल टू डबल जू डिवेड बै टू जी वी स्क्वयर मैनस यु स्क्वयर अल्लाई द आल द सब्जूट दीज वैल्यूज वन ट्वेंटी मैनस टी इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट वन ईक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी एट टू इंटू नईन पॉइंट एट वन टू स्क्वयर मैनस वन स्क्वयर फ्रम दट वी कैन गेट द टेन्शन ईज वन नाट नईन पॉइंट जीरो नईन न्यूटन अनदर एक्सापल प्रॉब्लम टू ब्लॉक ए एंड बी of weight is 18 newton and 16 newton are connected by a string passing through a smooth pulley as shown the figure calculate the acceleration of the body and the tension in the string weight is a and b is 18 and 16 newton acceleration first we have to analyze the acceleration of the block Mo motion analysis t is tension in the string the block a moves downward direction and the block moves 60 that block b is moving upward direction considering the block a moving downward the force is acting on the block along with the inertia force apply the d alambert's principle t minus 80 plus mass into acceleration substitute this all the known well given values t minus 80 plus mass is 80 divided by 9.81 into acceleration equal to 0 from that we can formulate initial first equation t plus 8.155 into acceleration equal to 80 equation number 1 considering the block moving the upward the force is acting uh, on the block b along with inertia inertia force apply the dynamic equilibrium equation in y along y direction based on this free body diagram t minus 60 minus the inertia force is also downward direction so subject uh, negative direction minus ma equal to 0 from that we can formulate the second governing equation T minus six point double one six y into y equal to sixty. The equation number two. Solving the above two equation, we can get the tension is sixty eight point five seven newton and the acceleration is one point four zero one meter per second square. Thank you for watching my video.